Recording this video after close of trade Tuesday, 18th of October 2011. Sorry, this post is going to get out uh, late uh, for email subscribers and also apologies for the test message that went out yesterday. Thank you for all the replies I got to that. Uh, just saying that they'd received the test messages, that's kind of uh, appreciated. Uh, the reason for it was testing various, after I'd finished my trading yesterday, just testing various options for uh, different kind of video formats and uh, hit the publish button by accident. So uh, that kind of went out to everybody. So apologies there, a little glitch in the system. Anyway, uh, yesterday, what a day. Um, uh, 2.5 million contracts traded. I think the top to bottom range was almost 45 points in a day, which is just kind of unbelievable. And I'm, uh, we're sitting back now just above, closed above the uh, better sine wave resistance uh, point up here at uh, 1223. So we're still at this kind of you know, absolutely critical point. Are we going to reverse and go the other way or are we going to break out into, into an uptrend here? Let me show you a couple of charts. Uh, trend line charts now, we've, you know, after uh, the Monday's activity, we close back in congestion, kind of just playing with us here. And now today's activity, we've kind of uh, sticking out like a sore thumb here with the kind of outside of uh, this congestion zone. And well, you know, it's looking like a breakout, but let me just show you the uh, 40,500 tip bar chart before we jump on anything. Um, trend chart, so this is using the better X trend just as a trailing stop, you know, with today's activity. So we trailed the stop up uh, underneath at 11.86, uh, kind of the low for the day. So that's kind of going to be a critical point. Are we going to give up uh, yesterday's activity and kind of reverse and go the other way? Uh, frankly, the only reason I can see that is is if the European kind of news just falls apart and all of a sudden any kind of bailout is is just totally unsatisfactory or the market you know doesn't believe it or whatever that we kind of you know just uh, give up this gain and kind of reverse and go the other way. In terms of the uh, risk on risk off charts, I mean we seemingly have set up for this kind of. Uh, trend change opportunities. So in terms of risk off trades, dollar index, we've now made our cyclical support here on better sine wave. We've got Rambo patterns coming into this and uh, exhaustion selling at this point. So you know that that could be an interesting place. It you know looks like it's trying to hold at least. Uh, bonds 30 year again uh, better sine wave's gone off here so we've got a support level here. A similar type pattern Rambo into that. So this is a pullback in an uptrend so you know, seemingly to see a kind of confirmation going forward. But the amount of buying at this stage is incredibly weak right here. So, you know, in today's activity, we're just kind of coming back down a little bit. In terms of risk on charts, uh, crude, uh, almost the inverse. So we're coming over to make a, a turning point here. Uh, Rambo pattern, no demand and so on, just kind of cresting over. Uh, gold, so here's gold. So now these ones are lining up a little bit more um, as expected. So all these amateur up bars into that pullback in a downtrend uh, level there has gone off, better sine wave, and uh, we're kind of coming back down to make a, an end of trend uh, warning signal here. So that's kind of more like it. Silver, uh, very similar. The pullback signal a few days ago, similar thing, amateur bars into that kind of uh, rolling over. Oops, and uh, Aussie dollar uh, just coming up to a turning point here, and Euro. So Euro turning points gone off after Monday's activity. Uh, flush signal with the uh, uh, buying into that. So it's like flushing out the last of the buyers and kind of rolling over. Um, copper, copper, a couple of days away from a roll, but uh, we've got this kind of bearish divergence patterns kind of coming in here. The message I think from all of this is that you know we've got this turning point due, which means equities uh, sells off and uh, dollar index goes up. Uh, it's certainly taking its time, and I think everybody can feel this total indecision in the market at the moment that. You know, everybody knows there's, uh, you know, it's going to break one way or the other, and they're just looking for some kind of signal. We had Apple earnings overnight, which were a disappointment. Uh, we've got the, uh, you know, the euro uh, mess, which just continues to drag on and on, uh, with no seemingly kind of, um, you know, neat end in sight to the problem. Um, so, but we all know, uh, you know, the market trades off, you know, kind of expectations. That we all know what the bad news is. It's kind of figuring out what, what's, how that's going to play out. So, I suppose I'm still in, still in two minds. Uh, you know, there's definitely this looks like a breakout. Uh, but if it rolled around with some bad news and went the other way, I, I wouldn't be surprised either. 
terms of uh, longer term uh, tick frame charts, 40,500 tick bar chart now. So this is quite interesting. So we had our double end of trend pattern. So the first kind of exhaustion uh, buying signal that we got was at the end of trend. So waiting for the second cyclical turn, which happened to be another end of trend. At this point, we're certainly kind of rolling over with uh, activity. We've got you know flush signals up here. And then the activity at the end of the day yesterday was a real kind of blow off uh, into the 20s up there that uh, hit um, cyclical resistance. So yesterday's play was basically support coming in on this higher time frame leading to um, resistance uh, on this higher time frame as well. So it was a classic kind of, you know, these last two days have just been sitting within this uh, um, cyclical pattern here, batting between support and resistance. And that's what we get. So we get trend moves that end after an end of trend. And then we go into a cyclical activity where the market's just congesting uh, where it is and then figuring out what the next trend move is, whether it's going to be a continuation trend move or a reversal move and can we break a support. So because we've got this here, we've got this um, resistance level is absolutely key. So if we start to break that uh, today, Wednesday, kind of going forward, then you know the, the bull moves on. Or do we just kind of move into a large range again between these highs and lows, just trying to figure out which way to break for, uh, for another trend move? What was kind of classic yesterday uh, and the last couple of days was this kind of sequence here. And I talk about cyclical moves in these highest time frames being equivalent to trend moves in the lower time frames. So take a look at these kind of cyclical patterns here and then we back it down to the lowest time frame uh, the equivalent lowest time frame uh, on the 4,500 tip bar chart and the low uh, was signaled overnight with a pullback to end of trend and then the high today was signaled by a pullback to end of trend well not the high but the end of this trend move uh, was signaled by a pullback to end of trend so you know these kind of points being marked with uh, trend moves on the lowest time frames and so today's uh, or Tuesday's activity looked like this we had this pullback to end of trend sequence again we go through a little bit of basing patterns just digest that trend the end of that trend move before we break out into another trend move uh, so we were kind of you know the market sold off after the open uh, we hit support down here at about 87 88 uh, we tested with a little amateur bar down here and then took off into a trend move here we had a, a bounce off the um, breakout move so uh, resistance becomes support again at this point here bang and we take off and this thing isn't done until we get exhaustion buying which is I like to see this kind of signal here the exhaustion buying happening on that that bit of the shoulder uh, and then the trend signal comes with bearish divergence blue professional bars kind of all the way up taking profits and finally taking profits here so uh, again 4500 will go through a little bit of cyclical activity before it uh, figures out which which trend direction it's going to make so I was done with my trading after kind of a nice short here and a little bit of a bounce long at the bottom down here I'll tag on those day trades I didn't catch any of this just because I wasn't trading it but um, to be honest the, the strength of that move did surprised me. I mean, to be back up at 12.30 is just extraordinary with like, you know, top to bottom 40, 43 points or something. On the uh, lower time frames, let, let me just show you the setups here. So on the 1500 tip bar chart after the open, initially I tried to get short into this move, but as soon as the pullback level kind of uh, held, I reversed and went long. And I was trying to get the pullback to end of trend. Into end of trend here, I you know, I had three points in the bag, but there were no blue professional bars up here. It wasn't like it was a uh, Rambo pattern at the top here that would signal some kind of, um, you know, topping out pattern. So I was still hoping for an extra point just to get out of my four point target here. And then all of a sudden this bar just collapsed. There was a huge amount of selling. Honestly, it went a point and a half in, you know, in one trade almost uh, straight down. Uh, so I got out with just a quarter point on that trade, reversed and went short, and then made uh, four points on the way down here, got out at 91, uh, which was only around here uh, on this move. This move was good for a, quite a little bit more. Uh, but then on the lower time frame, I saw an entry possibility at this point here, got long 87.50 and made a, uh, three points on the way back up. That was a, a trade against the trend and, you know, risky kind of move uh, to try and catch a low there uh, but you know did work out for me then tried to get short again here but then just got scared out of a trade and took a two point loss on a trade here I'll tag on each of those day trades when you go down to the 500 tip bar chart you can see these kind of moves same thing after the open so um, you know this is this move where it just collapsed 
Um, so I just got shaken out of my trade there. Well, that was you know the thing to do is to jump out. wasn't wasn't making my target. And then down at the lows here, so it just shows the psychology of this move. So we had this trend move down on the 1500 tip bar chart. On the lower time frames, the 500 tip bar chart, we had pullback uh, pull back to end of trend signaling down here. We've had our exhaustion kind of selling. Uh, flush patterns kind of starting to come in, but then we lurch below that level at that point there, and you can see this extreme selling there. At that point, that just flushes everybody out, blue professional bar and a Rambo pattern right at the bottom there, and then we take off to the upside. So this is just being aware that you know the psychology of that move was uh, everybody rushed for the doors, and you know this all the selling after everybody had sold suddenly evaporated, and then the move starts to can start to move to the upside, and this was this retrace move uh, where I was able to pick up three points, then tried to get short, but then this activity here that blue professional bar I didn't like. Um, seemed to hold because we broke above it, and I thought, oh my God, you know, maybe we're into a, an uptrend at this point. We didn't. We kind of, you know, kind of reversed and, and went the other way. Kind of just tested the lows. Um, so I was shaken out of a good trade, but you know. Um, but what's interesting here, so the pattern you can see, so you got the end of trend. You got this exhaustion selling coming in here, testing back into this zone. So we got blue professional bars, you know, at these lows, and then look at this cluster. All these blue professional bars kind of coming in at 88, 89, and the selling is incredibly weak. The whole series of bullish divergence patterns here, close to the zero line, and final push down, amateur down bars to test that. They get broken to the highs, and then this thing was just a way to the races, and effectively never looked back uh, to, the, <laughs> to the end of the day. Anyway, so I'll uh, tag on my day trades. Hope you had a good day's trading. As I said, um, uh, I'm in two minds, um, as I think I should be, because you know I'm focusing on such small time frames on my day trading. Uh, I'm, I'll just be fascinated to see which way this market goes. Short 95.75, and reason for getting short 1500 tip bar chart. Kind of bottomed out with exhaustion, uh, selling, and bullish divergence, and bounced off that pre-open, this is the open, we've just had exhaustion buying, bearish divergence come in, and the last little move up being led by the amateurs, and then the professionals just as we start to sell off seemingly got on board this move, so it's underneath resistance on the 4500 tip bar chart, so I'm breaking down, it's not a lot of selling right now, coming into support and sometimes um, resistance becomes support on the 1500 tip bar chart. So short 95.75. Traverse went long 95.75. So um, scratch trade on the first one and we're in long now because uh, pullback in an uptrend's coming on the 1500 tip bar chart. So uh, this should play out. Pull back to end of trend looks really uh, solid now. So that was just a little kind of congestion zone with amateurs, the bottom amateurs at the top. Very weak selling, bullish divergence. But once we've reached that end of trend, we might have a change in trend. So see it's running, so this is good. So targets at uh, 99.75, just under 1,200, which is a good, good point. Okay, exhaustion buying has just come in. No blue professional bars at the highs, though. Okay, that was just an amateur down bar. 15, just kind of testing here. So it's just uh, going a little bit further till we get another bearish divergence or flush signal or something like that on 15. So just need to crack through this 98 level. Just go for a little bit of a run. So still holding long from 95.75. Okay, flush signals just come in. We're going to get an end of trend signal on 15. Just have bearish divergence after exhaustion on 500. So. I should probably be jumping out right now, but I'm just hoping for just a final little push. There's, you know, really no blue professional bars up here or, or on the 1500. 
you know, we did have them pre-opened, so I'm just hoping they'll just push through here momentarily and go to 99s. Fingers crossed. 86 even. Uh, Hell's Bells, that just ran, ran off. We, I was just thinking about getting out at 97.75, and then this thing just tanked. So, out with a quarter point, but oh, it's got so close to that 99s. But anyway, so got to be thinking about a way in short now. So look at this. See if we get a little bit of a bounce just off this exhaustion selling right now here. But that was only a, a quarter point. It was a pity because it was almost three in the bag. Five even. Oh, I don't think there's going to be much of a uh, a bounce off that just because we're now on a downtrend. Uh, if anything, we just did kind of bouncing off. Um, Support becomes resistance. I know we're not far away from this into an amateur down bar here, but you know, we're in a downswing now on the 45. People wanted to get short this market really quickly with this kind of sell off here. So here we go, we're breaking to lows. Good. So that was the end of that. Um, I suppose you know, I should have been getting out as soon as the end of trend showed up. I just hoped for a little bit more. But, you know, classic signals, exhaustion, bearish, and then finally flush at an end of trend, bang. So, we should have a change of trend. Okay, blue freshener bars just coming at 94s. At this cyclical support, so maybe we'll find a little bit of support here and kind of test back in. But anyway, so short 95 even. Yeah, another blue freshener bar. It's actually an icebreaker trade on 1500 tip bar chart. Should probably be getting out, but I just think we've had a change in trend. So anyway, short 95 even. But here we go. So these blue freshener bars look like they were just getting short on that little retrace. Need to break the lows to new lows here. So again, support becomes resistance on the 500 tip bar chart, bouncing off there. So continuation of this downtrend here. We're kind of midstream on the 4500, and just because this is held momentarily, oh, it's coming back up again held momentarily. I don't think this is going to go. Think hopefully this energy will come into the downside. Here we go. Break to new lows and we're into a downtrend here and then pull back to end of trend on the 500. Please. So we just need just a half point break and then it will keep going. Okay, here we go. Let's pull back to end of trend. The signal kind of late, so that means it's a strong move. And on the downside, we've got to see, you know, an eight minus eight thousand type reading to stop it on the way down. So we're breaking through support on 15. Pull back to end of trend on 500. Okay, Rambo down here at 93s. So amateurs kind of selling there, but let's keep going. 91's the target. Okay, amateur down bar down here, end of trend, it's a Rambo pattern, flush signal, uh, 92s, just hoping for a little bit more, minus 6,000 on 1,500, just need a little bit more, but could have a little bit of a bounce from here, yeah, so it's end of trend with a 40, uh, cyclical turn on the 4,500 tip bar chart, just need a little bit more though, so still holding out for short. So just out 91 even. Excellent. For four. So, and another flush signal come in. Blue professional bars kind of come in. I'm surprised that wasn't a pro signal exit, but this must have been quite a high reading. Yeah, about 10,000 almost. Uh, so there we go. And it'll come to cyclical support at some point. Hold. Good, good, good. So uh, first trade was scratch. Second had like three and whatever in the bag, and then we just collapsed. Then reversed and went short and picked picked up the four. So four and a quarter after three point uh, three trades. So um, got to be nimble, I suppose. I'm just kicking myself that I didn't take my profits here. But anyway, good. Might be something set up later. So keep watching it. This thing is still going. Um, we've got a housing index coming out at 9 a.m. Uh, we're down at 88 now. Blue professional bars kind of starting to come in. Haven't got that exhaustion selling signal, I suppose. 
but uh, this pre-open low might be uh, somewhere it'll hold uh, Rambo pattern here you know, kind of re-entry point would be pullbacks on the 500 or 1500 I'll wait and see what happens but uh, certainly there was another three points in it so it's gone long 87 and a half long 87.50 and looks like we're trying to form a double bottom here we just had uh, a couple of blue freshman bars coming on the 1500 tip bar chart one on 45 we pushed down got another exhaustion selling signal and then a Rambo pattern so that was like an extreme exhaustion selling there second cyclical turn after end of trend we're trying to flush out and with that so this should play out to a uh, a pullback and a downtrend signal on the 1500 tip bar chart when these cross so let's see, just long 87.50. My target to 90.50. Just blue professional bars kind of coming in here, just aware that uh, we're at out. Okay. Ah, oh, it's going to 91s. Anyway, so out for three, and I suppose the reason I was getting out. Um, Blue professional bars kind of coming in here. Saw this kind of turn happening. Okay, so pro signal exit would have had me out around nine. Well, target 91.50 would have got here, but anyway, out a little early. So uh, exhaustion buying here. We're coming in. These things will make a uh, cyclical cross, and that'll be a pullback and a downtrend. So we might get ready for a short trade. But that's another three, which is good. Short 90 even. Not a particularly good entry there, but there we go. So. Uh, that was me on this kind of amateur down bar. So um, pull back in a downtrend. So we've had exhaustion buying at this point. The flush on those an amateur up bar on 4500 tip bar chart. So just looking for pull back to end of trend uh, down here. Let's see if we can pick up another couple without taking too much heat. Talk about heat. There we go. Went up to two and three quarters in short order. But uh, Rambo pattern now at an up bar, blue professional bars kind of came in at the highs here and seemingly selling down at that point there. So this does turn around now. This is kind of good. Um, suppose we might have a bearish divergent signal go off on 1500 tip bar chart, which would be good too. But um, still think we're going to test back down. That was a bit of a short covering rally. Uh, this last move off here. So. And we've not had that exhaustion selling. I mean, this was pretty extreme reading, so you'd expect something on the downside of a similar magnitude. So here we go, coming back. Out at 92 even. Out at 92. So for a loss of two, I just... Um, uh, blue professional bar coming on the 500 tip bar chart on this retrace, and we broke above the high of that pretty quick. And just worried we're going to run for a little bit until we get a cyclical turn on 45. And it's always the last trade of the day that kills you. So um, I got three on this bounce and losing two on this is fine. I'm still up one at that end of the uh, end of my trading day to uh, to add. So that's fine. Five and a quarter after one, two, three, four, five trades. So that's fine, but um, just, I don't know, don't look like the look of that. It's coming back down now, probably probably break to 90s, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll leave it at that. Well, it came around, came down to 88s, uh, and cyclical support's kind of coming here on 1500. We had uh, exhaustion and bearish divergence, and it did roll over. Never mind. Happy to be out. Just um, just got a little bit freaked out by that kind of move, I suppose. Amateur up bars. Anyway, we could be sitting on a change of trend here at this kind of end of trend down here, testing that down. So, that's fine done but uh, that uh, move did kind of end up heading back down so never mind